my latest robot sensor experiment uses a sharp IS471F proximity sensor with a standard IR LED. Both of these are available from Janoon Robotics, uh, about three bucks for the sensor. Um, I'm looking at this as an alternative to a laser sensor, the Hamamatsu S6986 for kind of like for localization, kind of beacon tracking and uh, targeting. Um, what's interesting, interesting is this sensor, I see lots of YouTube videos, people primarily use it for uh, very, very close range proximity sensing on the order of three to four inches. Well, by adding a small, uh, short focal length lens, I'm getting three and a half to four feet. Um, and this is looking for, there's a piece of scotch light reflective material right here. Here's a working sensor I built up. It's just basically, um, there's a plastic tube with a lens, the sensor, and I added uh, a red LED to show when it's sensing the reflection right there. So um, it's being powered by four and a half volts, three AA batteries. But again, there's my, there's my uh, scotch light way over there. And so as, I, as I back up, it takes a little bit of careful aiming. I don't have the uh, visible dot of a laser. So the, the invisible IR probably requires a little bit more care to, to align properly. But obviously it's safer. There's no laser involved. And the fact that these sensors are uh, not obsolete, commonly available, I think makes them a viable alternative. Uh, and you'll see a robot video of uh, probably a Bobot running around navigating here in the very near future.